time to get tanked. Tank or I want to introduce you to my new best friends. VF1 Skull 1, Kate Guy 1, Milan Milan 2, Larry Arts Production 3. Not only do I consider you four part of my posse now, but you also get my thanks for subscribing. And to Jetpackman01 who requested very long ago that I do this review, sorry to make you wait, man. But this fig is a bastard. This is the one that drove me up a wall back in 07 or 08 when I originally got him. Reasons you want? Why yes, I have a plethora of them. He was Octane, now he's Tankor. A move so jarring and unnecessarily harsh, it feels like my eardrums have been assaulted. I'm well aware it's due to copyright, just let me simmer in my anger, it's all I have. I'm trying really hard not to harp on this too much, but the name just does not fit the character. Oh, okay, Tankor, yeah, I, I get it. Some sort of fuel truck, right? Yeah, okay. Let's put the wheels on top of his tank here. Now try it the other way, explaining his secondary alt mode. Tankor, I don't, I don't get it. You, you messing with me, man? Why is he called Tankor? This is a, this is a cargo plane. You mean Cargor, right? Oh, and how many of you remember that's how he came packaged? With a name that uninspired, you better be a 60s Hanna-Barbera villain or one of the Thundercats. Thunder, thunder, thunder. What's more? I can't stand the phrase triple changer. Get rid of changer. Replace former. Now you have the much cooler phrase trip former. You're welcome. Now you may be wondering since my opinion has solely been based on character, is there actually anything wrong with the toy itself that I don't like? One or two things. Propellers under the front wheels, forgivable. This way too obvious plain cockpit section that's trying to be the back half of the truck. It taxes credibility, but I bear it no ill will. Nah, uh, it's more things like how these wheels are fake and how you can clearly see his fists. Don't know why those bother me more than anything, but they do. Any one of his three different transformations can be really vexing on you too, which make it more difficult than fun to play with the guy. That's why I gave him up the first time. Not only was he not transformed properly half the time I had him, but I couldn't get him to peg together either. I'll count that last part as a factory flaw, but after a while, I just didn't want him anymore. Thankfully, the second time I acquired this guy, it's all good. To me, he's Octankor, the little Energon tanker truck that could. So instead of driving off into the distance like some lone cowboy, let's instead take off into the wild blue yonder like a cowboy. His second alt mode, by the way, my god, I love it. The transformation is so satisfying. Half the fun is just transforming the guy. It's intricate without being frustrated. Makes me feel like I solved the Rubik's Cube almost. It really is one of those things not easily put into words. You should just get one and try it for yourself. And don't bother switching over to another channel to watch someone else transform it because I'll know oh god help me I'll know second verse same as the first still got a bare ass midsection showing off Tankor's bikini body and instead of a plain cockpit split down the back now you got the cab of a truck and I've never encountered a problem like this before where I have to say this plane has too many wheels a Tankor truly the spruce goose of Decepticons now I know you had to sit through an extra transformation sequence for the final big reveal, but I think we can all agree it was worth it. Just give yourself a moment to take in this beautiful precursor Darth Vader former. His articulation just wows and surprises thanks to all that triple forming he has to do. And while this color scheme isn't totally true to the character, he still makes all this purple on white look like the new black. Tankor's fists are truly the only letdown. It looks like he's trying to double fist slices of cake or delicious wedges of Parmesan Reggiano. Well, thank God for accessories in that case, because I just give old banana hands his double dealers to dual wield and problem solved. I don't have to look at them. Of course, on those really sadistic days, I just take one gun and stack it on top of another, because I can. And then just for laughs, I take this metal plate he came with, split it open to form the capture claw, and give it to him to hold, like so. Or I do the more hilarious thing and put it back on him right where that notch on his belt is. Now that is how you do power core combiner armor. Tankor is just so good at being so weird. It has nothing to do with the character, he's a coward. It's just a mashup of a cargo plane and a fuel tanker all in one. And I really have no other idea how to end this except to say, his head reminds me of a toaster.
Mmm. Smells like energon in the morning. 